Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, I'm here today um, with a video of a um, code deck profile. Um, I know I haven't done a lot of videos lately, uh, none actually for the past few months I think. And uh, that is because I don't really like this format so I'm not really sure about my deck build. Uh, I, I changed the Draco Pals a lot and I'm um, currently testing out like Burning Abyss Phantom Knights and I don't really know what to do moving forward so I'm just uh, doing the the GOAT deck profile because we're having uh, some GOAT tournaments coming up uh, in our region I think that's basically because this format is so shitty uh, we just want to play some GOAT so we have GOAT events we have um, uh, a national side event so I just want to go ahead and have some fun at those so what I decided to do is have the, the, the three big beaters, Exarian Universe, that you can set so people will uh, waste their noblemen on them or attack into them with, uh, with another Exarion and uh, damage themselves. Um, these are really great for beating through uh, the scapegoat tokens and they're just a uh, level 4. So I do like uh, Arnine as well but I just don't have the space for those. I really like the, the Exarion. Um, maybe I'll cut one Exarion for an Aeronite, but I'm not sure yet. Because I don't have enough lights, I feel. But I don't know if Aeronite's the way to fix that, because I'm running multiple Chaos Sorcerers. Uh, two Chaos Sorcerer. Um, this is really good because you just swarm the field, and Goat didn't have a lot of special summons, so if you can get your Thunder Dragon or something into the grave, it's just really, really good. You just uh, win by uh, Chaos Sorcerers. Uh, Double Knight Salem. I believe they were two. Uh, I wouldn't play more than two anyway. Um, this is basically a discard engine. If you discard both with Graceful Charity, you get both back. Same with card destruction. Um, but if you just use discard stuff, so like Tribe Infecting Virus, Red Gecky Break, that's also into the deck, uh, and you already have one in Grave, then you can pick the other one back up because it's a flip effect monster. And uh, uh, you can also pick uh, a Magician of Fate off there. Uh, so one Breaker, because Breaker's at one. One Tsukiyomi because you don't really need more than one. Uh, one Sagan, and that rounds it out for the Dark Monsters. And then we have Triple Thunder Dragon, because it's just the plus, and uh, discarding it with like uh, Graceful Charity card destruction or something, it's just really, really good. Um, to get those effects off, then Double Magician of Faith. I believe it was a two, um, and I don't think three is as good either, because one Nobleman, they're all banished, and uh, you, you lose a lot of lights. So I played a one Magical Merchant. I um, actually got this one off of uh, iPokemon Eye, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Won a contest or something. Uh, anyway, it's sort of just a, a card to pick up a Spell or Trap, which is really good. Uh, and it's also a light, uh, which you need, and you can take it back with discarding the first Night of Salem, so yeah. Uh, one BLS, it's a staple. Uh, Tribe and Sinistar are staple, and that's the only non light or dark you play. Um, I still like the scapegoat engine with double metamorphosis. Uh, metamorphosis is a, a card that uh, summons are usually um, thousand hours restrict, but it has some other uses as well. So I still play to scapegoat. Um, I know people are now playing a lot of Exarions uh, and Aeronites, but uh, I really feel like if they don't have their, if you can protect your, your uh, goats from the Exarions and the Aeronites, it's really just difficult for them to get through. Then uh, uh, this is what we call the, um, the trio, the, the whatever you want to call it, the trinity. Uh, it's just way, way too good. And um, you have to play these. If you play this deck, uh, you can't do anything else than play these. Uh, I played the card destruction because of the Thunder Dragon, because of the Night Salem, because of the Sinister. I'm not really sure about this card. Uh, it's a hit or miss card. It's it's it feels like a win more card. Um, I feel like not playing it, but also it's it's difficult to cut. Uh, I'm not really sure about it. Um, maybe I'll cut it for a light or for a trap because um, I don't really want to play anything else. Then Heavy Storm MST, both at one in this format, so. Yeah, I really gotta play those. One Nobleman, I uh, don't really have space for the second, and most people aren't really playing that much flip-flop. 
Uh, and if you create more advantage for yourself, you don't really need to nobleman your opponent's card. Uh, Premature Burial, Book of Moon, uh, Snatch Steel to run it out for the spells. All good cards. Um, Double Rack Eki Break, which you use uh, Sinister, Night Sail, and Thunder Dragon to discard. Uh, you can destroy any card on the field, which is really, really good. Um, some people like to play like the Beatdown deck, Skill Drain. Uh, I really hate those decks. Um, it's also good in the first game if, you, if, you, if you're up against Burn. I don't think people play Burn anymore, but if they would, then um, yeah, it's just a lot easier to, to out your opponent's cards. Uh, with the Rageki break, then uh, just the standard uh, trap lineup. Um, I put in the third Exarion, so I might take this out again for a uh, return. But because most of my monsters that are in Chaos Source or BLS are so low in attack points, I didn't really think that the return from the different dimension was that great. But uh, uh, the third Exarion, uh, you'll usually banish a Exarion from your graveyard anyway. So I might want to take that out, I'm not really sure. I like the defensive stuff as well, but uh, you also have Red Geki Break, Ring, Mirror Force, Tarantula for that. So I'm not really sure. I don't like the Tribute Monsters because of the Scale Sorcerers. Maybe I'll run one, maybe I'll put in an Air Knight, but I'm not really sure yet. So we have the nice for Scapegoat tokens because we play Scapegoats. Then we have Triple Thousand Eyes Restrict. Even though the extra deck didn't have a limit back then, um, uh, as to 15 cards we have now, we did have, of course, the limit of three here uh, in it, the same card in the extra deck. So, uh, yeah, uh, only three restrict. <laughs> uh, Dragon Ass of the Wicked Knight is the level three, so you could meta your Sangen and it has 200 more attack than the Sangen, though, so that's kind of nice as well. Um, then we have Carbonala Warrior, which is the level 4, it has 1500 attack. Um, you don't really want to use this on Xarian Universe anyway, but um, it's just in there cause, so you can use it so you, on anything. Oh, Jamanite's really good. Uh, I just picked this one up. Um, didn't play it before because I didn't have it. But um, yeah, you get to, to, to take two. Of your opponent's uh, monster spaces so they can't really scapegoat so if you meta and you put this down it's a 25 under wall most monsters can't get over it only chaos sorcerer or bls can get over this uh, no jinzo no uh, uh air knight parshat so that's really good uh so reaper of on the nightmare i have no idea what this card does i put it in like a while ago and it's just for what you can play uh, these cards are really good though. They have some negation, they have some stuff they do. So this card, what was it again? A normal magic card is what you can negate with uh, paying a thousand life points, the Dark Walter. And it uh, negates the effects of monsters that it destroyed. So it's like a Dark Ruler had its effect. That's really good. And then we have the Fiend Skull Dragon. Um, and it negates all flip effect monster effects as long as this card's face up on the field so if you have like a level 5 like a Zaborg or something and you know there's a flip effect monster you're uh, you, you have to destroy something else with Zaborg or whatever uh, you call it back something like that uh, you meta into Fiend Skull Dragon and you just attack it and it can't go off um, also Sakuretsu armor doesn't work on this because it targets it, ring of destruction, same deal. Now we have Ryu Senshi, which is the, the level six. Um, so you can negate the effects of a trap card by paying a thousand life points. Uh, also negate, a, it says magic card. Negate a magic card that specifically designates this card as a target and destroy it. So uh, for instance, if somebody tries to snatch steal your Ryu Senshi, uh, you just negate it. That's basically what it does. Uh, Dark Blade the Dragon Knight. Um, this card can um, banish cards from your opponent's graveyard. Monster cards like Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. So that's really good. It's also 2200 beater. So out of all of the, the stuff, um, except for maybe Thousand Eyes, if it gets a big monster. Uh, Dark Blade is actually a pretty high attacker. Then uh, I play three of the level sevens, even though I don't think you can ever make them, but if somebody plays a level 7 for some reason, you have the last warrior from another planet, which is really strong. Um, 
with this effect. You have King Dragoon, and then you have the Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, which is 2800 attack, so that's just a lot of attack points. It's really nice. And then we have the final, we have the Gatling Dragon for uh, uh, meta on your BLS. So you flip three coins, um, and you destroy a number of monsters on the field equal to the number of heads. So if you just um, haven't summoned this out, you can just destroy a bunch of monsters on your opponent's side of the field, uh, which is nice. Um, it's, it's just uh, the level eight you need for, uh, for BLS anyway. So that's it. Um, just letting you guys know what these cards do. Doesn't really matter. All you really need are these because you usually don't go into anything else, but that's it. Uh, let me know what you guys think, what you would do different in the GOAT deck. Um, would you play this build? Would you play the Thunder Dragons, the Knight Assailants? Would you play something totally different? Would you play Tribute Monsters, not the Chaos Sorcerers? Because that's usually what people um, uh, differ in opinion about. Not really the Magician of Fate or the Pot of Greed. Because those are just too strong in this type of deck. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and uh, feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe. And I'm out.